We shift gears now as President Biden is just hours away from visiting Wisconsin. It's his first trip after thoughts of the State of the Union tonight. Political reporter Jason Calvi live here in the studio with what the president pledged for the country and the Wisconsin Republican response tonight. Jason? Well, Mary, the president says the State of the Union is good, improving since the pandemic. He'll bring up some of these themes in the Madison area tomorrow in front of a friendly audience. Tonight, the response included lots of cheers and some boos. Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. For the first time since becoming president, President Biden speaks to a divided capital, with Republicans now in control of the U.S. House. You know, we're often told that Democrats and Republicans can't work together. But over the past two years, we've proved the cynics and naysayers wrong. Yes, we disagreed plenty. And yes, there were times when Democrats went alone. But time and again, Democrats and Republicans came together. Still, some Republicans heckled and booed lines in the president's speech. Doubts it. President Biden celebrated the economy. He says unemployment is at a 50-year glow. The speech comes as a new AP poll finds three-fourths of the country says America is heading in the wrong direction. Wisconsin Republican Congressman Scott Fitzgerald told Fox 6 the economy isn't as good as it could be. He also points to problems on the border and worries about China days after President Biden ordered the shooting down of a suspected Chinese spy balloon. We think in both of those areas, the administration has dropped the ball. Uh, and certainly those are items that I think this Republican-controlled House of Representatives are going to bring back to the forefront and, uh, and demand accountability. The voters will have their say again next year. As we gather here tonight, we're writing the next chapter in the great American story, a story of progress and resilience. When world leaders ask me to define America, and they do, believe it or not, I say I can define it in one word, and I mean this, possibilities. Now, the president said he'd veto a bill that tried to make a national ban on abortion. He called for a ban on what he called assault weapons. And above the president, sitting in the first lady's box, a Milwaukee mom, Deanna Branch, whose son was poisoned by lead. Mary? All right, Jason, we know you'll be covering his visit tomorrow. And exactly what are his plans? He's going to be traveled to Madison talking about good paying jobs, creating good paying jobs. Uh, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, so he'll be visiting the Madison area, flying in uh, to, uh, to Madison tomorrow. He'll be speaking about a lot of those themes he brought up tonight, about uh, really a rosy picture about how the economy's turned the tables or turn, turned uh, and is now improving after the pandemic. And he'll fly back home to Washington, D.C. And you'll be there. All right, Jason, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.